Now, it's the image from Turkey that finally mobilised global empathy for asylum seekers in Europe. And now, finally, we know this little boy's story. But a warning, some pictures in this next story are distressing. Everything's gone now. I just want to sit next to the grave of my children and wife and die. This is three-year-old Syrian toddler Aylan Kurdi. He was washed ashore after drowning with his mother and five-year-old brother. The sea is high. The waves were high. I grabbed my children and my wife. They were dead. Aylan's aunt in Canada gave them the 4,000 euros to pay people smugglers in a bid for safety. His wife told me on the phone a week ago. I'm so scared of the water. I don't know how to swim. If something happened. They're just one devastated family among millions. Here in Australia, the Prime Minister addressed the growing crisis. If you want to stop the deaths, if you want to stop the drownings, you've got to stop the boats. But the thing is, when you stop the boats, those people don't just disappear. Germany is preparing to take up to a million refugees this year alone. We're not really stopping the boats, we're just pushing them around. This year alone, 350,000 refugees have flowed into Europe, mainly from Iraq, Afghanistan and war-torn Syria. At least 2,500 people have died trying. It's obviously a crisis right now, and I think a lot of people right around the world are looking at what we've done. Actually, they're not. French President Francois Hollande and German Chancellor Angela Merkel are pleading for countries around the world to share the burden. Overnight, a New York Times editorial directly pleaded with Europe not to adopt our policies, saying that would be unconscionable. That article slammed our policies as inhumane, of dubious legality and strikingly at odds with the country's tradition of welcoming people fleeing persecution and war. Today, Barnaby Joyce said we needed to take more Syrian refugees. But the Prime Minister is satisfied that last year's commitment to our intake was enough. A year or so back, we announced that we were going to take an extra 4,400 from Syria and Iraq. Well, that's true-ish. The full truth is that when this government came to office, we took 20,000 refugees a year, and then they actually reduced that by almost a third. It's true that later they agreed to bring it back up to 18,750 in four years' time, but that was only because they wanted to reintroduce temporary protection visas, and that was the political deal. The bottom line is that this government has reduced the number of refugees that we take at exactly the time when the world is screaming for us to do more. We are not animals, we are not criminals. We have right to cross this border. Please! Imagine yourself in our place. Imagine yourself in our place. You are a human. We are a human. You have kids. We have kids. Well done, Sid. That was great.